Winter time around Lake Martin is construction time. And so I thought I would shoot this video of the anatomy of a concrete seawall. It's a really dreary day here today, but if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I do uh, real estate content for Lake Martin like this all the time. But what are the parts and pieces of a concrete seawall? Now, first of all, let me say, I'm a real estate agent. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a construction guy. I do not have technical expertise here, but as a real estate agent, I do know that one of the most valuable parts of a lake house or a lake lot is its seawall and the dock that builds around it. A lot of people don't think about that. So I'm gonna go through the basic steps and show you what the pieces of a concrete seawall are, and hopefully that'll be helpful. All right, part one, you can see the old concrete block wall here that failed, but the first piece is the footings or the concrete foundation of the seawall. You can see where they dug out and it's raining here. I know it's wet, but these uh, little, the concrete foundation here and they've got rebar sticking out of it. And that's the first step they do and they dig down to get into a deep footing. The second part has to do with these concrete forms. They're just metal rectangular building blocks basically and they're gonna set them up and uh, tie them in with rebar and that's how they're gonna pour the concrete into. Okay, over on this side, the forms are halfway done. They've got the rebar down on their footing they got the, uh, I don't know what the technical term for these metal rods is that they have hanging in. They've got it all squared up. Here's a shot looking inside the form. It's ready to be poured. You see they've got the rebar going up and down sideways. And then the whole thing are held together by these little metal rods. It's just basically a big jigsaw puzzle. And they're gonna bring concrete and pump it in there. And they're probably gonna park way up there and then run a hose all the way down here to fill it up. That's when it gets pretty interesting. We'll try to come back when they're actually pumping it. Here's what it looks like, a big long row, and they've got the forms done. If you peek down inside of it, you can see how they've got the rebar all measured out and holding together. Okay, it's the next day. I know it's loud, but I wanted to show you the next step in the concrete sea watch is the concrete itself. So let's go and watch it being poured. All right, hey, I'm John. Hey, my name is Pedro. And what's the number one YouTube channel on Lake Martin? Uh, Lake Martin Boys. That's right. And Pedro, hey. you've been in how many videos of mine now? Three. Three videos. All yes. right, check him out. He's Pedro, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Like the last step of this particular wall is the steps. Now, uh, Scott Henderson told me that he's the contractor. Well, this is the last step because they need to have a way to get down into the lake bed and pour the rip wrap base um, in front of the seawall once you're done pour. So that's what I'm going to do this last. If you like videos like this, I've got another uh, seawall video. It's all about a seawall failure that I'll link up as well. So it's a week or so later. The forms have been removed, and so we can take a look at the, what, what the wall looks like before they put the rip wrap, before they put the uh, backfill behind it. They've also got these drain holes here incrementally. It looks like about maybe every eight feet in this case. All right, that's down in between the old seawall and the new seawall there. They're gonna be backfilling this as one of the last steps. And then they'll also put riprap. Riprap's what we call those big uh, granite, white looking rocks over there. They're gonna put this at the base. And also they put a base of rocks down here at the bottom to help on the erosion uh, of the wave action come up, up against the seawall. I don't do seawalls. Henderson and Coker's doing this one. I'm John Coley and I'd love to help you out with real estate here and talk to you about the important things you need to consider when buying or selling a Lake Martin home. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can know that this video was helpful to you. Thanks.